Parry here at the Canon stand at Conference Imaging 2010. Uh, what's your name, mate? Hi, my name's Dave Parry. I work in product intelligence for photo video on Canon UK. Right, and what are, what are you going to show us today? Well, what I'm going to show you first of all is our new EOS 550D. Okay, right. And so where does this sit? In the, in, because we've got quite a lot of products in the, the digital SLR range now. We have, yeah. We have actually not nine cameras now. Nine cameras range. Yeah, yeah. Right. This sits right at the top of what we call our entry level segment. So this is a great for people who are just starting out in photography and people who want to um, who want to really improve on what, what they do. So it's right at the top of this segment. Right. So somebody who's now got, the, they've had their first digital SLR, they wanted to maybe move up through the range, yeah. and they're going to get a few more manual features, a few more uh, capabilities in the camera. This is where this is aimed at. Yeah, where this will really take you forward is in your low, where this will really take you forward is in your low light photography and also in your movie capability as well. Oh, so this has got movie, movie features too? Yep, this will do full 1080 at variable frame rates and give you manual control in movie as well. Excellent. Okay, so do you want to just take us through a few of the features on this one? Yeah, what we've also done on this as well is we've given ourselves a new screen here right. as well. Big which nice is a big screen. Which is, yeah, it's a million dot screen it is, so it's the highest resolution around at the moment. Um, it's also done at a 3 by 2 ratio, which means that when you actually take a photo, it actually fills the screen and you don't get any black lines. Uh, no, 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 black bars at the top no. of the bottom. Right. No. We've also rearranged the buttons as well. Um, we've made them bigger so they're easier to press if you're wearing gloves or things like that. We've also got a quick control um, screen here as well. Basically by pushing this button here, you can then scroll through your settings. It tells you at the bottom what they do and you can very, very quickly change your settings. Okay. Like a nice straightforward interface. Yep. Presumably um, there's still the menu interface like you've got. Yes, yep, yeah. By pushing this button here it'll right. give you the menu. Just like I'm used to and seeing, you can just yeah. run through. Very, very similar to our other cameras. So if you have used another camera in our range, you'll instantly feel comfortable with this one. Right, yes. Yes, I see that. that's a very very recognizable. Right, so now how many how many uh, megapixels are we talking? And, uh, how many shots per sec things like that? Um yeah, this one's got eighteen million pixels this one has. Right. Um, runs at 3.7 frames per second, uh, but what's really exciting internally with this camera is we've put the IFCL metering system from our 7D in here, which is a great thing to have at this level. This is the zone metering system? No, no, what this, this is, uh, what this is, this is the, um, the metering system that recognises colour. And to have it on an entry level camera is quite a good thing because people find their exposures much more accurate when they're photographing bright or confusing colour subjects. Okay, so give us an example of where that would be useful. I guess floral photography? Yeah, floral photography. Um, also, if you're photographing things like um, fruits and things like that, anything with a bright colour in it. Yeah. If you're photographing, you're doing portraiture and you've got people in bright clothing and things like this. I suppose anything against the blue, the blue sky would work? Uh, yeah, the blue skies um, are not too bad. It's normally things that are red. Or things like that, and right. find that we'll actually throw off a light meter and give you a um, um, an exposure that isn't quite as accurate as it could be. And right. this is where the IFCR metering comes in. I see. Okay. So this is just one of those ways of avoiding those situations where the light meter gets totally filled and a channel gets blown out. Like like when you sometimes get a, a red a red petal on a flower might get blown out. That's, that's the thing. That's the kind of thing it'll, it'll help you with. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. How many focus points? All the rest. And um, you've got nine there? nine auto focus points in this one, um, and they're selectable. Right, right. Okay, and what are the features of it? You said you got video. Yeah, we've got the video mode on here. Um, the video mode is very, very easy to access. You literally, you turn the dial around on the top here, round to video, which turns the camera into a video camera, and there you go, use the live view there, you focus up and start recording, you just push that one button there. Right, right. And you, and you say there are, this is manually selectable while you're videoing as well? Um, yeah, you can change your shutter speeds and your apertures and things like that. Um, right. You can also um, change the frame rates, not while you're shooting, but beforehand. Not while you're shooting, you can yeah. set up for 24, 25 frames per second or whatever setting you want. Excellent. Now, that, now, I think those those features are going to be very key. I think, I think we're seeing a world where photographs are starting to move. It is, yeah. It's all very Harry Potter, but I really think, <laughs> you know, all these all these effects that we used to see in cameras are starting to have on video cameras now. And, you know, if you look at the sort of stuff that's going on in YouTube, yep. very, very much the sort of thing that people are going to be playing with. It's very much multimedia is what people are looking at, both people on the consumer level and on the professional le um, level. Right. Having video on SLR has opened up a whole new um, genre almost to photographers yeah. and given them a much, um, given them a new level of creativity that they can explore. Right. And presumably, of course, this is now... Got access to all of the standard Canon 
lenses, EF and EFS? Yeah, this will work with both EF and EF lenses. So the 64 lenses that we have in our range, it'll work with any of those. Okay, now you also got um, uh, the SX220, is it going to show us today? Um, SX210, yeah, we've SX210, got. SX210, um, right. Yeah, which is a new um, DSC, so a compact camera. Okay, let's, um, let's, let's should we have a look at that? Sure. Okay, so here we've got the, what, the SX210, is it? Yeah, right? this is our new um, little SX210. Um, this is a replacement for SX200. Um, what you'll find with this one is quite a bit of a, um, a thinner camera, um, and it is quite a, quite a bit sleeker to look at. Got a nice big big screen on the it's back much here. It's than an Ixus, is it? Right? It's not, actually, no. The, the styling has really um, sort of followed the Ixus trend. Um, you've got a 14 times built-in so zoom there. It's a much bigger lens. It? Yes, it has. So that's a 14 times zoom. Um, and you what's see that from the front? Yeah, push can, yeah. Yeah, it's a much bigger lens than the X. Yeah. Right, yes. Um, so, so what you've got here, say, yeah. yeah, I mean, this, this is a great little travel camera because um, what you can do, you've got um, the functions here. You can run it on fully automatic, just use it like a point and shoot if you want to. But if you want to be more creative, um, you can actually roll around the dark and actually use it as fully manual as well if you want to. So right. you can set your shutter speeds and apertures, which is quite good to help on a very small camera like this. Yes, uh, This also has movie capability as well. Um, right. You can shoot 720 movies on it. And what's quite good is you can actually zoom during movies. So you actually get the full 14 times right. zoom during movie. Okay. And what about things like uh, image stabilizations? Yeah, it's got a built-in optical image stabilizer here. Uh -huh. um, what you can also do is we've actually got smart auto as well, which means that the camera will detect the scene, detect what it's looking at, and give you the optimum settings. This will work actually both in stills and in movie. Right, okay. Okay. Right, so uh, how much are we looking at for these two different cameras? Um, we've got this recommended retail at 359. 359 is the SX210. Yes, it is, yeah. Okay, and how much is the uh, the uh, 550D? We've got a um, recommended retail price on the 550D with the standard kit lens, which is the 1855, which is 899. Right, uh, am I right thinking the 1855 is IS or is that not? Uh, yes, it is, it is it's the, the IS. Version. The IS, version, yeah. And that's 899 RRP. Correct. Because obviously a lot of these things that are in quite different prices in various different stores. Yeah, we set the RRPs and it's the, the dealers yeah. set the prices they want. Understood, understood. Okay, that's been very helpful. Thank you very much for your time. No problem. And uh, look forward to seeing what you've got for us next year. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. This video is an extract from an episode of Photo Walkthrough, an online TV show all about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. If you'd like to see more, head on over to photowalkthrough.com where you can find all the old shows and subscribe to the new ones for free.